How are you? Are you okay? It's lovely weather, isn't it? Today. Yesterday, tricky. Beautiful weather. I am, this is such a gorgeous city. Gorgeous. Really beautiful. And I've had such a great time here. Um, beautiful, beautiful city, beautiful countryside, beautiful people. Marvellous. Um, so easy to please, aren't you? So easy to please. Um, now, here's the deal, right? Okay, so, I'm a journalist with TechCrunch, and normally I'm writing about startups and those venture capitalists who fund the startups, etc., etc. And, um, and that's kind of what we do, really, at TechCrunch, because people want to know about that stuff, so we, that's what we do. And, um, and it, it occurred to me that, hold on a second, you know, we've got all these innovative people crazy, innovative, clever people, and yet, you know, it's 2016, it's the 21st century. What can we do that, you know, can really help people in a really effective way? And, um, you know, I was thinking about this last year, and then the whole kind of thing uh, started happening with the refugee crisis, uh, which is a really kind of a word I kind of, unfortunately, have to use, because, although I, personally I would much rather talk about the refugee opportunity not the refugee crisis, but um, that's kind of what people talk about. And uh, I thought, what can, we, what can we do? I was walking along the street in London, as I do, and thinking, technology, refugees, refugees, technology, tech fugees. Hold on a second. Let's think about this. So I thought, let's, let's just see who's out there who wants to you know, get involved, start, you know, bringing, you know, the kind of clever brains that we all have in the tech community to these issues. And put up a Facebook group and, um, and invited a few friends in September last year and I thought, that's it, maybe we'll just get together, we'll, you know, have a meet up, start talking about maybe some things that we could do as a community. And involved, uh, you know, just invited about 20 friends to the Facebook group. Um, about and then next the next day there were about 150 people. The next day there were 300. The next day there were 700, and it just went crazy. It was quite clearly I was pushing at an open door. Other people were thinking about this sort of thing and thinking, hold on, what can we do? Hold on a second. You know, here's Mike Butcher with all these Twitter followers, etc. Let's have a look and see what we can do. Here's a good community we can join and start talking about it. So that's what happened. So, um, you know, that was the background. So what, so then I thought the weird thing that happened was, let's see. Let's, so this is what we did and we, and then about two weeks later, I thought, right, we've got to stop, we've got to go to a conference. So I put together a conference. Um, I sort of, that's what I do for my day job a lot of the time. So I, uh, um, it was pretty easy to me to do, and we got a bunch of tech people involved, we got uh, the NGOs involved, got government people involved, even some VCs came. And um, we did a conference, and, and we started talking about what we could do. We did a confer conference, we got a, and then we got enormous amounts of press, like, and so, just like journalists do, they go, this is really weird, a bunch of geeks in, like, glasses are going to try and save the world. Oh, ah, what a joke. Well, good story. Right? So they started covering what we were doing, and we actually had a hackathon, we had created products, and, and off we went. And I was getting emails from people all over the world going like, this is cool, okay, can we do a Tech Fugees co conference and hackathon in uh, Sydney, Australia? I was like, okay, go for it. Uh, okay. Hello, we're from Norway. Can we do a hackathon called Tech Fugees? Sure, go for it. And it just went crazy. So um, now we've got a whole kind of interesting community. And we ended up with some really interesting uh, products um, demoed, like uh, G-Cycle, where you can recycle your mobile phone to a refugee agency. Uh, MeshPoint, which is rugged Wi-Fi for refugee camps. MedShare, which is a health app, which can be used by humanitarian organizations. And uh, Refugee Aid app, which is like uh, location-based information for refugees. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There are now hundreds of products available now for NGOs, for refugees themselves, um, for addressing this issue. So um, it kind of, kind of took off. 
a bit crazy. Lots of people were doing things. Um, and we now have, we reckon, we, this is a team in London, um, and uh, we now have uh, about 27 global chapters, and we also want to bring on uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. We have a lot of people involved, so we have a big community who really want to get involved. It's really amazing. So we reckon we have about 11,000 members now, or somewhere between 11,000 and 15,000. That's me visiting refugee camp in Lebanon. Um, and um, we want to basically put the international tech community's response to the needs of refugees and their agencies under one umbrella. Because there's a lot of activity out there, but a lot of lack of coordination, and we want to try and co help coordination to prevent duplication, to make products better. Um, and one of the biggest things I came across was, you know, a lot of agencies, um, you know, they don't want you to build an app that's going to solve the refugees crisis because that doesn't exist. What they want you to do is, um, is to support them. You're clever people, so the idea is to really get involved in the, in the issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we, we have a big opportunity uh, to get a great community to get involved. And we want to do now build an actual product called Base Fuji's. Who's heard of Crunchbase and TechCrunch? A few people. So that's the database of, of technology companies. We want to build Base Fuji's, which is going to be a database uh, of uh, humanitarian and technology solutions for refugees and humanitarian technology. But we want to make it very useful, use it ourselves. We'll use it as a challenge platform to allow um, NGOs to put challenges up. We want to allow um, uh, people with skills to be able to share their skills on the platform for NGOs. So in other words, they can make themselves available to NGOs. And we want, um, and we want, also want the commercial technology world to get involved and support the platform and to uh, use it as a way to um, offer, their, offer their services and offer their talent. So that's what we're going to be doing. So basefugees.com is already up and uh, registers a, a, a landing page right now. You can go and sign up to get more information. We're in the process of bringing our technology partner to build the platform out over the next few months. And we're also fundraising. So we're going to become a UK registered charity. We're also launching in the US as Techfugees US uh, in Silicon Valley in San Francisco. But um, so it's exciting, and you know, coming from you know, being in a place like here, where which has been so through so many uh, so much strife and and uh, terrible times, it's really fantastic that we, as a technology community, can have the opportunity to give something back and to get involved and to bring our skills, which we're usually applying to deliver somebody's laundry in an hour or sandwich or um, you know do a dating app or something, use our clever skills to really help humanitarian causes like refugees. So I guess I think I'm going to sort of hit that at that point. So check it out, techfugees.com. You can reach me, if you want to talk to me about techfugees, you can email me on techfugees.com. That's mike at techfugees.com. Um, if you want to do TechCrunch stuff, that's okay, but use mike at techcrunch.com, okay? Um, and I hope you have a great time. I'm going to be around, so if you would like to sort of talk to me, you can, we can split it up. We can split the conversation up. Either way, we can do Tech Fugees and Tech Crunch if you want. That's cool. No problem at all. So I hope you have a great time. And um, thank you very much, Weather, for going away. And see you later.